know all of you can't see, but that's one of the best pictures I've ever taken. That's my eight-year-old daughter, Summer. And uh, let me just start uh, by saying that uh, on May 7th, 2014, uh, my life changed. Uh, I went to the bus stop to get my daughter, and she wasn't on the bus. Mm -hmm. So my life changed at that moment. I didn't know what was going on. Um, I'm not really going to get into detail, but when your ex-wife is arrested on four accounts of aggravated battery with weapons and takes all your money out of your bank account and takes your kid, uh, things get scary. At the same time, uh, I was adopted at birth, went to St. Mary's Church in Downers Grove, and I had, at the time, an 86-year-old mother, which I wouldn't put in a home, so she was living with me. And when this day came, uh, I was in jeopardy of everything, you know. I had no money to work with, so I just kept on going. I'll add in another sad point. I've been on disability since 1992. At one time, I was very capable of making money, and uh, things changed. So when this happened in May, I think uh, it was probably around November or December that uh, since I went to a Catholic school and everything like that, I heard of Catholic charities, but I never thought I would need them for anything. You know, I thought that was for people who didn't have things going on. And like I said, I, I've been able to support myself most of my life. But I had to go to Catholic Charities, and the first person I met there uh, was Amy Palumbo. And now that I know who all you people kind of are and <laughs> what the Page Foundation, let me explain that not only did Catholic Charities help me, but they understood my situation. You know, a lot of people come in for help, I'm sure, and you do what you can, but it may not be enough. And in this case, I'm not a very good person at asking for help. I help others. That's what I do. But I needed help. And Amy didn't give up on me. She, uh, you know, uh, told me to contact Linda at uh, Love Christian Clearing and Jackie at Salvation Army and my own church, uh, Harvest Bible Chapel in Naperville. After the financial help came, what's so great about these ministries are even though I was able to subdue my landlord, and even though I was able to keep my car, and even though I was paying for guardian at Lightums that cost $275 an hour, because a single man doesn't get full custody of a child in Illinois, unless you're somewhat of a decent person. I needed more than financial support, and some of these organizations here are just incredible, with also the follow-up. Okay, hey, are you okay? Hey, are you still standing? Okay, because when you help people with their rent and stuff like that,